Hi, I'm Jamie from the development team at Keytask. I'd like today to show you how we can use Intact and our comparison tool, Check, together to see how network messages are sent as expected when a test case is run. If we're running a test case in Intact, where a PCAP file is generated, it will look something like this, where we have steps, taking a phone, we have acquired two phones, we make a call sometime, and as part of this, we'll be capturing a PCAP trace. What happens when you do this is after your test case has run and has been sent to our conclude reporting tool, conclude will then forward that trace to our check tool and let it do a comparison between the expected behavior and that trace. So let's take a look at how we can configure a comparison in check first and then we will run a test case and do an actual comparison. So this is our check comparison tool. It's a web-based tool, which gives us an interface similar to Wireshark, and you can load traces and you can filter them. And inside check, you can create a test case, which I have here. And this is simply a golden trace, which is our trace of expected behavior and some filter. There's also some more advanced features that we won't show today, like groupings, where we can group SIP transactions, for example, together and then compare by group. And there's also name mappings where, for example, if you have servers in one network for one trace and servers on another network in another trace, you can map names to these servers. And as long as they have the same name, when the comparison happens, it will compare the names and say, yes, they're identical, even though the IP address might be different. So here you can see we have a test case or a comparison in check set up with ID 25. And now back to Intact Studio, we can see we are linking to this test case in our test. And then once we run this test, the PCAP file captured as part of this will be sent with our test report to the conclude tool, where it will show up here. And then conclude will take the PCAP file, send it to check and make a comparison. Once check's finished with the comparison, it will be sent back to conclude and the report here will be updated with the status if the comparison passed or failed. So let's run this now. I'll right click in the window to run this test. Our example test case is finished. The PCAP file has been sent to conclude. We can see it's in pending status because it's in the process of being sent to check to be compared. And now you can see the trace. It says it's pending. If I refresh now, you can see it's failed. And the reason it's failed is because this is a completely separate trace. So we, we would expect it on the first comparison to not pass because checksums, timestamps, for example, call IDs will all be different. You can see the intact steps all passed but it's this, the check comparison which has failed. And because this has failed, the overall test case has failed. And we can click here in Conclude to jump straight to check to see why the comparison failed. And you can see actually all the packets are the same. The call happened just as we expected, but things like checksums, headers, maybe ports will be different. And so with this first comparison, what we can do is tune how the next comparisons will happen. So we can select all the fields that we want to ignore. For example, call ID, checksum, from tags, um, to tags, uh, the authenticate. And if we select all those that we know will be different for each trace and re redo our comparison, you can see we get the green check mark to say that everything starts to match up. And finally, everything is green. And now is a good time to talk about why we do the check comparison separate to the test case. A question you might have is why not just simply do the comparison as part of the test case and then send the result to conclude. 
And the reason is the phone call that might happen. It could be multiple phone calls. The trace collection could be multiple traces that then are merged together on different servers. And then it maybe takes time to be sent to the test case. This can take a long time. This can take hours. And if there's some problem with the comparison, we don't want to have to run the whole test case again, make the phone calls again, capture the trace again, send the trace to a server where it's accessible again. What we want to do is just rerun the comparison. And by doing that via conclude, what we can do once the trace is tuned is go to the details tab here and just say update conclude report with this comparison. And now we don't need to rerun the test case. We just click here and now this success condition has changed. It's now passed. The overall state of this test case is now passed. And you can see by clicking here, this is the comparison that's passed. So now any future runs of a test case where we capture a new PCAP trace will automatically ignore the things we just ignored. Now I'll give you an example if we run a trace which I know should not match. Once again, we've run it, but this time the trace that has been sent has something unexpected in it. If we go to conclude and look at this test report, still being checked by check. And it's failed. Now the question is, has it failed for a valid reason? Something we can ignore? Or is this a real problem that we found? And by looking, because we have already ignored the key things that we know are okay to ignore, we can skip over these packets immediately. We know they match. And the very first thing is that's read here and doesn't match, we can see there's a problem. Because the call has been unable to negotiate and agree on a codec, this test has failed because the call hasn't been accepted. So this has been a quick tour of how a test case in Intact via Conclude can leverage the check tool to make PCAP comparisons in a very efficient way.